Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Jayla. Today's video, I am going to do a couple of different things. First off, I want to say thank you to my daughter, Emma. My little intro that's new, the last two or three videos, she did that for me. She is a marketing and communications major, and so she made that for me as kind of a little project and I'm just, I just love it so much. So thank you, Emma, in case you watch this video. She does watch some of mine. She's a busy college kid, so she might not be able to watch them all. But a couple of things I wanna do is I'm gonna show my December layouts. I'm gonna talk about um, some hops that I plan on doing in January so that you guys can know what's going on. And then I am going to do something a little different. I am, this is Bookish Shayla, as if you've been watching my videos, you know I am an English teacher. So I do read books, of course, and um, I'm gonna talk about the books that I read in December and give you a little hint a little TBR for January. So that's gonna be at the end. If you don't wanna watch that, um, I totally understand, but I did wanna, I don't want to do videos that are is just about books and I'll talk about that a little later. But anyway, so I'm gonna kinda combine them today for my last video in January. So let's talk about the pages that I did. Um, I think I completed 30 if I remember, 29, 30, somewhere around there. Um, a couple of them are not in here because they're for specific hops in January and I'm a guest designer for, um, for sketches in time in January. So a couple of my layouts you'll see later on in the month, but uh, are later on in January, not later on in this month because this is the end of this month, guys. We're off to 2024. But anyway, so I have the rest of them here and I'll show you my inspiration if there is any, and I'll talk a little bit about it. So let's get started. My first one is called New Ornaments. It is for my personal 2022 album. This was for 12 Days of Christmas. It's my first one. And then it was also Scrap Squad number 43 Scrap Lift. I used a Hip Kit Club from December of 2020 for all of it, along with a little bit of Nouveau Mica Mist. So every year I get new ornaments from the places that I travel and I have a travel tree and these were my ornaments back in 2022. Next up is um, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts Day One. This was day one. Um, it is for my 2014 album. This is my husband on Christmas Day back in 2014. And I used a close to my heart uh, collection called Holly Jolly. And I added a Bramble Fox acrylic title. I also did some 49 in Market Ephemera. Next up, this was for Scrap a Sketch. December Sketch Fest, Sketch Fest Day One. That was the sketch. Um, it was a grab by challenge to use ink, ribbon, gold, washi, and stripes. And I did all that. And this is my 12 Days of Christmas Day Two. This is for my 2016 album. I used Close to My Heart, Holly Jolly, a little bit of Pink Fresh, some Scrap and Happy Studios Flair, Pink Fresh, did I say that? I used an Echo Park stencil and some Close to My Heart ink and glitter pen and some buttons and washi from my stash. These are my three oldest nieces and on Christmas in 2016. Next up, this layout was done for 12 Days of Christmas Day 3, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lift Day 2. There is the layout that I scrap lifted. This is for my son's 2017 album. This is him decorating our tree back in 2017. I used Close to My Heart, Holly and Ivy, some Echo Park, Heidi Swap, Thickers, and me and my big ideas, um, all that stuff. I 
used a variety of stuff. It was close to my heart papers mostly and a few close to my heart stickers, but I had to add some other stuff. This is from a swap back in, oh, who knows when, before 2012, because I haven't done swaps since I moved into this house in 2012, so it was before then. And I used some Nouveau Mica Mist and some Heidi Swap Color Shine. This one is for um, scrap a sketch sketch fest day two that was the sketch the challenge was to use orange and purple so I didn't do a Christmas layout but this is using the 49 and market spice um, happy scrappy bag no it was the my little scrapbook store happy scrappy box from September all this came in along with some I added some nouveau sparkle spray but that this all stuck all this stuff was in the My Little Scrapbook Store Happy Scrappy Box number one back in September. Oh, and this is for my 2020 album. Next up, this was for 12 Days of Christmas Day 4, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts Day 3. There is the original. This is for my 2016 album. This is my daughter. There she is in the hot pink coat caroling. Um, it's the Hall Christmas, mm -mm, close to my heart, Holly Jolly paper, a few Pink Fresh, um, Pink Fresh Studios alphas, a Bramble Fox acrylic title, some crepe paper stuff, some Scrappy Happy Studio flair, some, and, uh, stencil the pink the snowflakes was an echo park stencil some nouveau glacier paste and a glimmer pen from close to my heart i think that covers most of it most of everything that's on there next up was for 12 days of christmas day five all the 12 days of christmas uh, layouts had a video so those are all down there if you want to watch those I'll let you know if any of the other ones do this is a scrap a sketch sketch fest day three sketch and the challenge was to use a all the circles were from a different pattern paper and I've lost my C and I cannot find it so I'm still looking but I've lost my C it's supposed to say peace this is for my 2019 album this is using close to my heart holly jolly um a little bit of echo park away in the manger crepe paper busy sidewalks are the chipboard pieces um scrappy happy studio flare again and some uh close to my heart glimmer a glimmer pin so that's my daughter singing at church back in 2019 and like i said i've got to find my seat Next up, 12 Days of Christmas Day 6, using the Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts, Scrap Lifts Day 4. I, I did not. There's are like little pie pieces. I didn't do that. This is for my 2014 layout. I took my daughter's dance class, went to the Nutcracker, and this is her. They had some little arts and crafts beforehand, and this is her beforehand. It uses the Close to My Heart Yuletide Carol collection, some photo play stickers. I really wanted to use these. They looked like Nutcracker to me. Stickers, some Cardabella um, stickers, Close to My Heart glitter gems, and that is that one. Next up was for 12 Days of Christmas Day 7, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lifts Day 5. There is the scrap lift. This is for my daughter's 2017 album. Ooh, it's glued down a little better. Um, she's decorating the tree back in 2017. Um, I used Close to My Heart Silver and Gold for the paper. And then the stickers were from Close to My Heart, Echo Park, Cardabella. The embellishments, the leaves were Prima. The Scrappy Happy Studio Flare, Close to My Heart Flare, and then some Heidi Swap Color Shine. I really like the way this one turned out. Next up is 
12 Days of Christmas, Day 8. Scrap Squad, 12 Days of Scrap Lifts, Day 6. There's the Scrap Lift. This is for my 2019 album. Um, that's my daughter and one of her friends. They were decorating at Christmas and they got all decorated up. Um, the paper is Close to My Heart, Holly Jolly. Um, the wood grain is Ella and Viv. It's a um, collection that they had. Uh, the stickers are close to my heart. The ephemera is Pink Fresh Studios, Scrap and Happy Studio Flare again, a Doodle Bug Shaker Pop, some ribbon, and I think that's it for that one. I love Shaker Pops. They're so cute. Next up is 12 Days of Christmas Day 9, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Scrap Lift Day 7. Um, yeah, mine doesn't look anything like this, but I promise it came from this idea. <laughs> this is, um, will go in my 2013 December photo shoot. I have albums for the, for my kids' photo shoots because they did so many, they've done so many with their cousin. So I have albums for the photo shoots. This is using hot off the press Christmas lace. All of it was that collection. Okay. And like I said, I know that doesn't look like I used the, uh, hold on, I had a little piece fall out. I don't know where it went, but so it's going to go right there. But I didn't have any wreath, and I was behind, and I just didn't feel like looking for it. And Anyway, so this one is 12 Days of Christmas Day 10, Scrap Squad 12 Days of Scrap Lifts Day 8. This one does look much more like the Scrap Lift. There's the Scrap Lift. This is for my 2019. This is just a selfie with a Snapchat um, filter. This is using Close to My Heart, Oh Dear, all of it. That's It all came from the Oh Dear collection, except the Alfies, I'm sure. No, I think that was part of it too, actually, now that I think about it. Next up, this was for 12 Days of Christmas, Day 11. There was no, I just did this one no inspiration except for my brain. This is for my 2019 album. This is me and my family, daughter, son, husband, my in-laws, and my husband's brother and his wife. This is using Close to My Heart Sparkle and Shine, um, some Bramble Fox, some um, Scrappy Happy Studio Flair, and uh, even the stamps were Close to My Heart. That came, that was from that one. Next up is day 12 of 12 Days of Christmas Hop with the 12 Days of Christmas Scrap Lift Day 9. There was the inspiration. This was my most liked layout on Instagram this month. So everybody liked this one. It is for my 2023. Uh, album. These were the first Christmas movies my daughter and I watched this year. We watched all three of them when she was here for Thanksgiving. It is Close to My Heart, Oh What Fun, paper, cardstock, stickers, embellishments, and some Elle's, Ella's Studio tabs. Some Nouveau Mica Mist and Distress Mica Stain for the splatters. Next up is scrap a sketch fest number five that was the um sketch the challenge was to use christmas stash to document a birthday or document a christmas birthday so i did my daughter's 18th birthday the paper was all from close to my heart oh what fun and uh so were a few of the ephemeras and then I added some Echo Park and Photo Play stickers and some thickers. And then um, Close to My Heart Glitter Gems, some Fancy Pants Pom Pom Trim, and some Distress Spray. And that is my daughter's photo shoot for her 18th birthday. So the colors just matched it so perfect even though it was a Christmas line. Next up, this was Scrap a Sketch, Sketch Fest number four. I'm trying to remember which ones. I don't know that, I didn't have very many 
other videos besides the uh, 12 Days of Christmas. I'll try to remember if I have some, but I don't know that I wrote them down now that I think about it. This is Scrap a Sketch, Sketch Fest Day 4. There's the sketch. The challenge was a this or that challenge, so it was to use stim stamps or stencils, and I used a stencil. Um, stars or hearts, and I used stars. Candy canes or trees, I used trees. Red or green, I used mostly green. There's a little bit of red in there. Stickers or ephemera, I had the trees and the, there are stickers all over actually. Silver or gold, I used gold. And numbers or letters, I used numbers. Actually, I do think this has a, this does have a video to it now that I remember because in the video I'd forgotten to add the numbers and I had to go back and do that. So uh, this is Photoplay North Pole Trading Company. So the stickers are, the, the green ones are making memories and then there's some hot off the press, which are the dazzles here and the stars and then cocoa vanilla. And these were thickers. That was the cocoa vanilla, um, some scrappy happy studio flare. And I think, oh, some, the uh, stencil was echo park. And then I used some lunar paste and this is for my 2018 album. This was us on Christmas morning opening our stockings. Next up is the scrapbook or scrap a sketch sketch fest bonus sketch and challenge. There was the sketch. The bonus was to use any festive printables. I didn't have any. So it says if you don't have any scrap a sketch printables, use any Christmas stash. So that's what I did. This is a um, the scrapbook room double shot kit from December of 22 using simple story, simple vintage Christmas cottage. Um, the wood grain I added was a craft consortium wood grain pad. I added some stickle, some dazzle stickers, which are down here. I was told you couldn't really see it in the video, so I'll bring it up close. There are these little lights. Um, some, this ephemera was from simple stories. I used, uh, Picket Fence Distress Spray? No, I don't know. I That's awful thick. I don't think that's right. But anyway, that's what it says. So, but that this is for my 2022 album. This is my daughter decorating our courthouse lawn with the Beta Club. Next up, so much fun at the zoo using sketch scrap a sketch sketch fest number six um there was the sketch it was a grab five tags flowers stitching gems and multicolored title so tags flowers stitching was a um stamp because i don't stitch gems there's gems and a multicolored title. It says so much fun at the zoo. The title piece and the tag actually were swap items from, like I said, before 2012. This is for my daughter's 2013 album. This is us at the zoo back in 2013. These were Dream Street papers from a long, long ago. Um, I did add some K and Company stickers for the title, So Much Fun at the Zoo, and then July 2013 down here. Some The glitter gems were from Close to My Heart. I used Heidi Swap Color Shine and a Studio Light Stamp for the stitching and Close to My Heart ink. This was the scrap a sketch sketch fest number seven i only did the sketch i did not do the challenge the challenge was to use no pattern paper and i just i just couldn't do that so but i did use the sketch this is for my son's 2013 album this is him with all of his fair entries and ribbons and money that he got the paper is from a paper pad the um, title are different thickers i some color cast design wood veneer um, I stamped the ribbons and cut them out. The stamp was a, a hip kit club stamp and I used some Lindy's Starburst sprays. Next up is Scrap a Sketch Sketch Fest number eight. This is the sketch. I only had three pictures and the challenge was a tic-tac-toe. This does have a YouTube video. The um, I did the middle row which was patterned paper which I have back 
behind my pictures and back here. Stamp. I stamped these ornaments and something shiny. And the shiny was this um, glitter trim from Close to My Heart. This is for my son's 2014 album. This is him opening presents at his grandma's house. I use Close to My Heart white, pain, white Pine for the paper, cardstock, stickers, ephemera, and embellishments. Um, the mixed media was Close to My Heart stamps, ink, and then a shimmer brush. And this was a YouTube, my, a YouTube video for Christmas in December up on the 25th. Next up, this is for my son's uh, album when we went on our first WOW trip to Washington, D.C. These are pictures of him at Gettysburg, the Liberty Bell, and Ben Franklin's resting, or his uh, grave, <laughs> that's what it's called. I used 49 in Market Spectrum Sherbert for everything except, actually I think for everything. Oh, the thickers were um, not 49 in Market. But anyway, so that's that. Next was for scrap lift number 47, the scrap squad. This was the picture. This goes in my 2018 album. It's my kids decorating the tree. I used um, the paper, it was all from a paper pad. Then I used some swap items. The T is for tree and T is for trees. We decorate so gay. Then wait for old Santa to hurry our way. The, um, all the chipboard and buttons were a Teresa Collins candy lane. Um, close to my heart glitter gems on to uh, here and here and here and here. And, um, uh, oh, crepe paper uh, rub-ons here, love, family, and celebrate this season. And then some twine from uh, American Crafts. I used Distress Mica Stain for the splatters. Next up are some double pages. I have a whole bunch of page kits made for me by my Close to My Heart representative. She sends us some every month. And I have a gigantic stack of them. And I just, I needed some more pages for the end of the month, so I have just started doing these. Um, this first one is called Summer Vibes. It's for when we went to beta in 2021, and it uses the Close to My Heart Summer Vibes, Summer Vibes kit from um, 2020. That's my daughter and her two friends, and me and the other two sponsors, my daughter and two other friends. So that's the first page, and then this is the second page me and the sponsor, my daughter and her cousin, and my daughter coming out of the slide at the pool. The next one was also a Close to My Heart page kit. <clears throat> this is for my 2020 um, album. My husband goes hunting every year up in Colorado, and these were pictures he took. This is using the um, Close to My Heart Into the Wild line. That was from 2019. Next up is another double page. This is um, for my 2021 album. Um, the day after Thanksgiving in 2021, my daughter and I flew to New York and saw five Broadway shows in two and a half days. And this, these are some of the pictures. This is using the Serendipity Close to My Heart from 2020. And I also used some flat back pearls that I got um, for on Black Friday. So this is the first page. It's the airport. It says, welcome to New York. And this is the second page. My daughter, me drinking my coffee, and then us together. This was a, I used to do these page kits called Embellish It. And this is one of those from 2015. Um, this is my, um, niece, I guess I shouldn't be showing her, but my great niece back in 2020. This, this is using an Echo Park line called I Love Sunshine. I added some gems and some shimmer spray. So this is those. I'll do that quickly. So you, I forgot to cover up her face. 
And this is the last page I had done. This is for my 2021 album. This is my daughter going to her first prom and it uses the Craft On kit from Close to My Heart. I added some Glimmer Mist, but this is just documenting her first prom. There's the first page and there's the second page. So those are my December layouts. So let's talk about January for just a minute. Here, I'll leave this one because I just think it's a cute picture. Um, in January, I plan on um, participating in the All About the Mouse hop on um, the 1st. I plan on doing Christmas in January this time on the 25th. Um, every Sunday we're doing one called Get in Shape and each Sunday we'll be focusing on a different shape. So that will start the first Sunday in January. And then all throughout January, they're doing Baby Got Scraps and I'm gonna do as many of those as I can. It won't be every day though, like some people will be doing, but I do plan on doing some videos for that too. So that's all the scrapbook stuff. So if you're not interested in books, Stop watching here because rest of it's going to be about books. So we're going to talk December. One reason I do not do um, book wrap ups like booktubers do is because I do not read that many books. I mean, my best month in 2023 was six books, it, but that's a fluke. I don't do that very often. Usually it's more like two or three books a month. And so I'm just going to, at the end of the month, put them on my layout share videos because like I said I just don't read nearly as much as I I should I love to read but there's just some days that my mind just can't focus so I'm going to talk about the three books I read in December two of them were classics that I read in class so I won't really talk about them too much just because um you should I mean you if you've read classics, you've already read it. This is the one that, I'll talk about those in a second, but this is the one that I read for my book club. We have a book club every month that meets, and this was our book in December. It's called Christmas by the Book. Um, it was super cute. It was a good feeling um, book that just was perfect for Christmas time. Um, the other two books I read were Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, um, a classic book that uh, most people that read classics have read. Um, I think I had read it way back when in the day, probably in college, and I but I didn't really remember it. But my seniors wanted some of my seniors wanted to read it, so we read that. And then my junior class read a separate piece by John Knowles that I thought I had read that, but then after I started reading it, I'm like, nope, I don't think I have. And they weren't big fans of it. They just didn't like it. And I can kind of understand it. It was okay. It wasn't amazing, but it was okay. So now let me talk about what I plan on reading in January. I have three books in January that I'm going to try to get to. The first one is for my book club. It's called The Overnight Guest. Um, we wanted to read a winter thriller. And so this is the one that got picked. Um, I read the first chapter. That's all I've read so far. I'll just leave that here. The second one is for the Buzzwordathon. Um, if you're on BookTube, you've probably heard about the Buzzwordathon every month. Um, a BookTuber, Books and Lala, gives a buzzword or like a theme. And the buzzword for this month was there, there, or there. And of my 600 books that I have, including eBooks, I had one book that had there, there, or there in it in the title and it's the T-H-E-I-R there and it's The Boys in the Boat. I've wanted to read this for a long time anyway. Um, it just came out in a movie with George Clooney as the director. Oh, be still my heart. I love me some George Clooney. But anyway, so um, that's going to be my uh, buzzword-a-thon book. And then my second one, or my third book, is I Must Betray You by Ruta Sepetis. This is a historical fiction. It covers, I'm doing this um, bookless queen reading challenge and I'm doing it with a um, spinner wheel to pick a color because I've just, my daughter talked me into arranging my books by color, the ones in my bedroom, on my bookshelves in my bedroom. And so I made a spinner wheel on color and I'm gonna spin it and then pick a book based on one of these challenge. And um, my color was blue. So here is my blue book. and. 
the challenge. I'm starting with the first one. It's You Meant to Read last year. I started this last year. I didn't get very far in it. So that is my third book. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will have a video up tomorrow for the All About the Mouse Hop. I've already done that layout and you will see it tomorrow. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you liked me covering the books and want me to do that a little more in detail at the end of the month, let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do. So thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.